What's up, y'all? Welcome to the fam. This is a show that will focus on black voice on the West Coast. My name is Parker Johnson. I'm a community organizer, I'm a youth mentor, and I'm also a facilitator. To my left, I have... Hi, y'all. I'm Dr. Lisa Gunderson. I'm also known as Dr. Lisa or Dr. G. I'm a clinical psychologist. I am also a registered clinical counselor. I own my own business where I do a lot around trying to disrupt and dismantle racism, especially around issues of anti-black racism. I'm also a mom of two great kids. They're 16 and they're 20. And I'm really big into our communities, our African Caribbean black communities. And I just wanna welcome you all for taking time to join us today here on The Fam. Right. Hi everyone, I'm Pamphanet Buisa, pronouns are she, her. Um, I play rugby, uh, I'm an Olympian, community organizer and facilitator. I'm just so happy that you're here. So this is a, a project that was a long time coming. Yeah. And I'm grateful for everybody behind the scenes who made it happen. Uh, but I think we should talk about how it came to be. I think that's a great you idea. You know. Yeah. Yeah. This is a multi-generational uh, voice that we're going to be bringing. We hope to also interview people that are in our community. We want to focus on the, our youth that are doing amazing things. We'll get into that. Um, but yeah, let's talk about how this show came to be. Well, I think one of the things that was so important is that multi-generational piece that you talk about, that we know each other. And we issues would come up in community. And just having those different perspectives, sometimes we're in agreement, sometimes we're not how important it is. So we've got our 20s and our 30s and I'm 52, I'm proud of it. Um, but that was one piece. And then the second piece, of course, is the West Coast part because there are black folk here in BC. Somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. I mean, it's, it's such a we're thing. it. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And, and something that we all talk about is we're all in our own little silos. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, we're not just one, what's the word that you like to use? We're not just one. Like group, monolith. Yeah, yeah, group. Of, exactly. We're very heterogeneous yeah. in our community, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. So it takes a lot for us to gather. And yeah. so I'm hoping that we are celebrating those different aspects of blackness that exist here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think it'd be, be fun. fun to talk about like what we were planning on doing. Yes. So initially we were going to be a podcast. Yeah. yeah. At first. I mean, we are. Yeah. True. A podcast. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> but we were going to do it in a room. Yeah. A little room. A little yeah. room. A little room. And we were so excited. We had though. like our books to prop things up. Your, uh, a little small laptop that was slow <laughs> with like high, like not high speed. I don't even know. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it plugged in or it, it'll turn it off. Oh, turn off. <laughs> you feel me? Oh God, the extension the, cords coming through the back. And then we had those circle lights. Oh, the circle lights. The circle lights. We and got then the mics though. We did. We had the mics. We had we had that. <laughs> as soon as I plugged my laptop in, the fan would start going. You know that like it sounded like a jet. Yeah. And so this is much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is much. This is much better. I think this is more our speed. I, I, agree. Um, I agree. Yeah, and and so to be here now yeah. is kind of a trip. Yeah. No, it really is. Because honestly. our schedules, as y'all will Ooh. learn. The people on my left and right. Ooh. Schedules, Google calendars look like it's Christmas wild. lights. <laughs> it does. It does. The amount of appointments yeah, and things no. and so, kids yeah, no. and yeah. it is wild. Yeah. So this is special. Little things like world tournaments. A, <laughs> yeah. a few yeah, world yeah. cups. An Olymp Some light. Uh, something called the Olympics. Some, yeah. yeah. Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Community <laughs> organizing on the side. Co-facilitating. Oh, God. You guys are oh. guessing it. Yeah. And don't bad. forget family feud. Oh, right. This is she was. I actually forgot about easy, that. Easy, easy. You were on. You were on. You easy, did a whole family feud. Easy, easy. Yo, yeah. Yes. So the schedules are ridiculous. Yeah. But that was the beauty. We we're yeah. all so committed. Yeah. Yeah. We we're so committed to getting our voices out there, yeah. and we just there's just so much happening. True. Always. There's just so much happening, and so that's what the purpose of this is. Yeah. What about our name? The Fam. Yeah. Why you know, the Fam? Why the, how, why the I Fam? Other than the fact that that's what it feels like when we chat, yeah. and sometimes our introductions take so long. Well, you know, we <laughs> as soon as we get into a space, if one of us is facilitating, yeah. Yeah. walk out. I can't look at y'all in public <laughs> because you will speak to me with yeah. your eyes. Yeah. Yes. And that is something that's, that's yeah. familiar. Yeah. yeah. You know? When I was thinking of a title, that's what hit me. Mm -hmm. Is I think of you all. 
and I'm just like, oh, and you've heard me say this. I have a couple of boys and I'm like, man, if they can just grow up and be oh. like you, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I would have done my job, right? <laughs> and it just feels like family because we all come from different places, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, like I'm Where, from um, Ottawa Gatineau area yep. mm -hmm. and grew up with Congolese family and yeah. having to come here to Victoria, I didn't know that many black people. So whenever I did, like that locking eyes thing, I'm walking down the grocery store, I see a black person, I'm like, hey, hey. you know, Yo. like it was always like, <laughs> so even that familial aspect of just seeing each other yeah. in space was always something that's super important that I think that the fact that we came together, it felt like family. We don't come from the same places. It's almost like a chosen family, yeah. different walks of life, different ages, ranges, all, all the things that I think that really hones us in. Sidebar, how did we meet? Well, I know I how remember. I met you mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that was after the murder of George Floyd. Yeah. And yeah. you were one of a incredible group of women who decided to get together and hold a rally. And I got a call cause to ask if I would help out around the mental wellness pieces mm -hmm. and speak. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we connected. Yeah. We've known each other longer. Yes. And yeah, and Dinner I party. think it's through Binkati or, so I, I, yeah. Yeah, it was. So yeah. When, I, when I met Dr. G, she hit me with the Dr. G like, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's it. <laughs> what you tell me? What, tell me what you do. Like, yep. what, what's your deal? Yep. I'm like, <clears throat> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep, yep. We're gonna keep in contact. That's she hit me with that. Mm -hmm. You know what it was? You held one of your table talks. It was before that. It oh, it was before I that. I invited you to the table talk. That's right. After. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I that was you. even. Bur okay. That was the first time. So I remember my first like time showing up was around people was mm. Parker's table talk. Yep. I saw you show up and I think Abby was there with you and I'm like, I think I said hi to you after it was all over. I'm like, hi, I just want to say thank you for coming. It was just so amazing. I'm like, yes, absolutely. And I'm like, oh my God, I want to be just like her. And that, the that table was the talk, I you. you know, being yeah. able to bring voices together. So it's a platform where we talk about issues and yeah. you bring folks together. Yeah. How long have you been here in Victoria? My whole life. Yep. I was born in Savannah, Georgia, grew up on the island. And for me, I've, I could really feel the, the shift in the city in terms of diversity. Yeah. Like it is not, I'm an adoptee. And so that alone, mm -hmm. that was a rare thing. Yeah. And so the way that I was treated, the way that, like the difficulty in um, making community, yeah. mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. something that I had to navigate. And so the table for me is, what's that phrase? Like I'm trying to be the help I wanted kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, you know, the youth mentorship with a child song, those are adoptees mm -hmm. that, I'm, that I'm linking up with. Table talk, it's bringing people out of the woodwork and I always joke, I'm like, where y'all been at? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, but anyways, I feel like for this particular episode, we'll get into, you know, what we do. Yes, um, But we wanna yeah. focus on inspirational moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So some inspirational moments within the year, a lot has happened. A yeah. lot. What has happened or stood out to you this year? in particular. Who wants to go? You go. <laughs> I go, I go first. Okay. Right. Um, so for me, one of the things that totally inspires me always is youth. I, I just, I love youth. They're just amazing and their energies. And I'm a real believer that youth don't need us to give them a voice, mm. right? Like they have a voice mm. and it's more affording some opportunities for that to happen. So, um, there's a group called Black Youth Empowerment, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's a group here in Victoria of a collective of teens, grades 9 through 12, different high schools, and they got together as part of a grant that was funded through the Victoria Sexual Assault Center, Public Health Agency of Canada, and they ended up doing this um, amazing thing where part of one of the things they did is they created a professional development for teachers wow. to wow. help create safer spaces for black youth in the classroom. And when you create safe space for black youth, yeah. you're creating safe space for every youth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these kids committed every Friday night to get together wow. and work on this, practice this. And they also initially did some of that for other black youth across BC. 
But in May of this year, they had over 80 teachers from all different districts across from the mainland, wow. the island, the islands, and they ran the whole thing start to finish. Wow. It was beautiful. Wow. And I'm so inspired by them yeah. and inspired by that. They're growing now, they're adding another five to them because they want to keep it going as they graduate and go out. But that idea that youth know what they need yeah. and we just need to talk to them about it and ask them about it. And I'm hoping it'll be a model for other youth who yeah. are often minoritized, yeah. so right? So I'll hop on that. From, yeah. I'll just jump in because mine is about youth mm. and it's, um, the screening of Wakanda Forever because Ooh. one of our youth yep. uh, organized that mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Dr. G was supporting that mm -hmm. and let me tell you when we pulled up to the theater I'm, I'm co-facilitating the space a little bit just all of these young black kids oh, dressed beautiful. in white for Chadwick Boseman yeah dressed in it you know they yeah. got their hair done they got their garments on mm -hmm. they're looking good you know what I mean? the the music the going yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know it was why there's social commentary happening during the mm -hmm. movie oh. that was inspirational for me because yeah. that was a youth's idea yeah. yeah and for me you know I mentioned I grew up here <laughs> yeah right and sure I've, I've been to different places but there's something about here mm -hmm. that's so significant yeah. yeah that has never happened yeah in my life so shout out to that you mm -hmm. we had we had people coming from salt spring yeah. over to that in less than 36 hours we sold out like a hundred and six wow. seats shout out to the theater who yeah, actually helped us put all that together yeah. and it was remembrance day yeah mm. and so we were able to honor our own in that space mm -hmm. and they yeah. put that on the screen but i think the significant piece of that story is that a youth felt comfortable enough to call somebody yeah. right like an adult and say hey i have this idea mm -hmm. can we do it mm -hmm. and i'm like no problem. yeah, let's, yeah do let's do it and i think that says something about how we all can help listen to you like i said they have a voice yeah. if we can use our skills to help them 100%. do that yeah. you know and you all are that for like my son and said, I want to bring my brother because I don't want to hang out with the adults. And I'm like, I wonder if they think, because I know I'm old. Y'all think you old? Oh, like, big yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm feeling it more and more. My back is yeah. letting me know. I'm all on my knees. Yeah, nah. What go. about you? What yeah. Is I would say, yeah, definitely with the movie. I think I was out of the country a lot this yeah. year. Yeah. So I think for me, it was connected by movies. So I think for me, it was seeing uh, Woman King. Oh. That was a hit. That was a hit. I want to see you that. You have to go watch it. Yeah, okay. you we have need to watch, watch that it. together. It's right, yeah. it was literally it was so beautiful to see black women in a movie, fully casted, taking up space, and there was just so much range. Like I think whenever we watch, especially movies when it comes to war and things like that, oftentimes when we see representation of black women it's always in a specific light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Strength True. is in True. a specific light. Yeah. But the strength in this movie was so multifaceted. You could be vulnerable, you could be powerful, you could be sad, yes. you could have truth. Like there was so much range that I feel like it was so refreshing to see that like after it almost had the representation piece because I think especially like in the spaces I've been playing rugby, I'm always traveling, like, you know, I'm not always seeing the representation that looks like me yeah. in, in yeah. a lot of spaces so being in New Zealand at the time seeing other black people in New Zealand watching this and I'm seeing we also showed up like we had our mainly our kit yeah. but I found like a white you know rugby Canada t-shirt and I threw it on <laughs> and then we had like a white we went shopping got the whole like outfit nice and um yeah seeing that was just so beautiful to see because I think not a lot of the times um especially when it comes to strong, muscular women, yeah, redeemed yeah. in a certain light, um, militant, um, and there's not a lot of range. So I think to be able to have a voice um, exposed to the world was just so nice to see even personally as like a rugby player and things like that. I think that was just really, really important. So I think that it was inspiring to see, but then also to share that with my teammates, my friends, it was amazing. You know, oh, no, no, no. I was just going to say that idea of being in New Zealand and my cousins in Jamaica showed f pictures of them doing Wakanda forever in Jamaica. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just saying that storytelling that we do, yeah. it resonates across the world, yeah. not only to 
everyone, but particularly in our communities. It's kind of like being able to do the nod. It's like, yeah. oh, I do Wakanda forever in this space, that space, yeah. or that. And that's what's so important about having our stories being told mm -hmm. by us. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like it, it does something, like sitting in the theater and it just. Oh, no, it's magic. Yeah. Right? And even the social commentary part, like I remember oh, I watching that. certain things, I hear someone, an auntie in the back, I'm like, <laughs> she's like, mm-hmm, uh -huh. like, mm-hmm, yeah, the wrong, yeah. <laughs> we had that, right? We're all cute, like, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I feel like I could be like, uh-huh, yeah. loud, you're right, right? Loud, it's like, we're not loud, yeah. everybody else is quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I just decided that, so important, <laughs> so important. So with this show, this journey that we're gonna go on now together. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where it's gonna take us and, and, yeah. and it's just gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. yes. um, where can people find us? Well, uh, on Instagram, on Facebook, anywhere you have your uh, podcasts, um, so honestly, so, yeah. anywhere, uh, we'll be there. And if we're not, message us, because we'll connect YouTube. YouTube. We'll yeah, be there on YouTube. 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 Right, yeah, cool. Website. At We The Fan yeah. Pod, right? Yep. At We The Fan Pod. Yep. Um, I can't believe we're doing this right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's time though. It's time. Yeah, like now's so. the time. And there's nothing so. out there like Literally. that yeah. for us. And yeah. so we are the beginning. So with that, do we want to do a little wrap up then? Like, sure. do we have any closing sentiments we want to share? It's time. Honestly, I think, yeah. especially being here, um, I've been waiting to have community um, in a way that is consistent, but also isn't just me amplifying other voices. It's you know, speaking from yeah. myself, and I think it's exciting to see how I'm going to learn about myself and who yeah. I am, but also like who we are. Yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah. I'm just grateful because we we talk a lot. I think we have three different group chats now. Literally. For different things. <laughs> Literally. You know what I mean? And then we're like cross. Like, we yeah, cross yeah. all of this, and and I learn so much from you on the likewise, daily. Likewise. Likewise. And, and I am extremely grateful to just be here and 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 do this with y'all um and i feel like it is time and the youth who will be watching hopefully will get some ideas and want to engage and and also come down and and, and learn a few things too you know yeah we're gonna open that up as well yeah and not just youth but all mm -hmm. ages and Absolutely. all spaces this mm -hmm. this place is going to be for everyone. Mm -hmm. We see you, Nanamo. You know. we, <laughs> we see you there. Cool. That's right. Come That's right. Here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, it, it doesn't escape me at all, kind of the power of this moment. Mm. And for me, I think it's so critical for us to always remember how we're able to be here. Mm -hmm. And that's because of those who came before us. And those that did the struggle, whose names we'll never know, mm -hmm. who fought, who died, for us to be able to have the opportunity to sit here like this, mm -hmm. knowing that they're all around us and elevating, and we're just part of that journey, mm -hmm. it is so powerful and so inspiring, yeah. right? Yeah. And I think if they were here physically, I know they're here, they would just be so proud because we are their dreams personified mm -hmm. and th yeah and that's fam right mm -hmm. that's yeah. the family that's what it that's is the family right there and so right i think there. i think with that um as i said i'm grateful and i think that this is this is something that uh we're not going to forget yeah. i don't know how long we're going to do it for <laughs> hey we're going to do it know. till they tell us yeah, we can yeah yeah and, yeah and um, right until <laughs> They wrap it uh, up. But we're going to get into some interesting topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will. And we're going to provide our opinions and perspectives yep. uh, and, and social commentary um, and, and hopefully an avenue for people to send in their thoughts as yes. well. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. to amplify those voices. So and we're going to have fun. We're going to have because fun. Because that's what family does, yeah. right? Yes. They take care of each other, they hold each other up, they have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ask the tough questions and we're there. Okay. And so we're always going to make sure we do that. Do so that. with that, we look forward to what comes next. And we do. We're grateful for your to. time. We are so grateful that you all decided to join us today. From our family to yours, welcome to the fam. Take care. Y'all.